So, it's kind of calmed down now, but recently the internet went a bit mental. It was like... <coughs> Basically, for those of you not in the loop of the internet's recent meltdown, Charlie McDonnell made a video recently where he essentially explained that he was scared to create content because he was afraid that people wouldn't like it. Those of you who frequently watch my videos may know that I briefly kind of mentioned it in my last vlog, but now I'm going to talk about it, like, really. I am not here to entertain you today. I don't have the capacity to do that right now. I am here as one regular human being to another because I am not happy right now. Subsequent to the events you have just witnessed. Everybody came out, as it were. Apparently, everybody on the YouTubes is scared. And it's actually quite a common problem amongst content creators. It's definitely a problem that I face because I've said in the past that I sometimes feel that I don't do my videos justice and sometimes they definitely aren't as good as they could be. That is, that is just a fact. That is how I feel about what I've made. But I deal with it slightly differently. You know, I don't go through phases where I don't make videos for a long time. No way. Yes, I do. Instead, I panic, which I really shouldn't. I come up with so many amazing ideas when I just don't have the time to bring them to life. And when I do have the time, either none of the ideas seem like the right one, or they all seem really good, and I just don't do them, and I just end up making weekly vlogs, which actually I didn't make last week. Sorry. The thing about the vlogs is that they were meant to be like one every week, so whilst I made my other stuff, there was always something that was going to be at regular intervals and it was kind of to supplement the other things that I created but instead they've become all that I create and I just look at people like Dan, Phil, PJ and Alex Day and Liam and Grace and Toby and the Vlog Brothers and smaller people like Eden and Dan, and then Miles, and Wyatt, and of course, my good friend Jamie McBarlin. And, of course, I look at Charlie, and I get jealous, because they always seem to have things to talk about, and things that make their videos interesting or unique. And really, the only thing that's interesting or unique about me is me, and I kind of fear that I don't portray that as well as I could. And that... That's why I'm making this video. I figured I'd kill two birds with one stone, which is extremely cruel and I don't recommend doing. If you're gonna kill a bird, well, don't kill birds, but if you're gonna do it, don't kill two birds with one weapon, because whilst that's, you know, effective in terms of ammo consumption, it's don't, that's mean, that is really mean. What did those birds ever do to you unless they pooed on you? That probably gives you a valid excuse. Back on track. Because 
I wanted to put out my whole opinion on the Charlie Scared Creator Internet Apocalypse thing of doom. And I also wanted to make something a little bit different from my regular vlogs. And I figured that I could make a video explaining how I'm going to do new things and different things from that which has gone before, which I've actually already done. Or I could just take the plunge and just do it. So this is me, just doing it right here and right now for your viewing pleasure or displeasure, whichever you personally feel. Right here, right now, right here, right now, right here, right now, right here, right now. So to summarize, Charlie said he was scared and the internet erupted from the inside. There were obviously the inevitable comments from thousands of fangirls who said that they loved Charlie and they would stick by him until the end, no matter what he did. Really, what do you expect? I mean, it's Charlie. He's brilliant. But what the internet wasn't prepared for was the huge proportion of people who turned around and just said, Hey, Charlie, me too. As I have said, it is a problem that pretty much everybody faces, but it's incredible, really, that all it took was someone of Charlie's stature to come out and just say, Look, Internet, I am scared, and I just do not know how to deal with it. For the world to have, like, a mass debate. <laughs> mass debate. Me. About being afraid of judgment and how to deal with these fears. And I feel like, actually, it wasn't just a sudden apocalypse that vanished as soon as it came. I see it as more of, well, a time bomb waiting to happen for once, but a turning point in YouTube's existence. Like, YouTube is such a vastly different place now because of this whole experience. It's almost like a new wave of content from a generation that either no longer fears the dreaded eye of judgement or is just somehow better equipped to deal with it. And it wasn't just the fangirls. And boys! Wheezy Waiter came out and said that he was scared, but he deals with it by creating more content so that some of it has to be good. Michael Aranda came out and said that he's scared, but also everyone is scared. Mikla, who I only actually know of because of this whole affair, gave yet another valid point. And then he linked me to Miles, who is yet another YouTuber that I didn't actually know of before all of this, who made another great point. Then, of course, comes Hank Green, who being Hank blows everyone else out of the water with this super amazing video not only saying that everyone is scared, but also explaining how and why everyone is scared, summarizing everyone's points into one big ball of wibbly wobbly internet stuff. And then John Green followed with his hilarious video about never giving in even if you're really bad at something. And if you're feeling a little bit self-conscious and a little bit low right now from watching all of the other videos that I've posted, I genuinely, seriously recommend watching this video right now. Because, you know, it's just genuinely hilarious, as I said. And, well, the Vlogbrothers are always the cure for a pretty suckish day. Nudge, nudge, wink. Nudge, wink. Nudge, wink. Nudge, wink. Overall, I'm glad that the internet got to have this little talk. Because it was nice. 
and that is what the internet should be like. Almost nobody was a dick about it. You know, everyone was extremely genuine and caring and willing to help and share their own issues. And it really brought out a side to everyone that has literally never been seen before. And it was nice. I feel as though all of the nice people on the internet, and I'm talking about people who are interested in Charlie and YouTube and vlogging and stuff, you know, I'm not singling out people here, I'm talking about all of the nice people that kind of fit into the bracket of people that would be having this discussion. All of those people kind of came out in force for a while, and they bonded, and they shared, and they talked, and it was really nice. And personally, I'm really glad that it happened, because even if it all just fizzles out and just becomes another epic tale in the grand saga of the interwebs, at least it was good while it was there. And I can guarantee that it will influence people. Like, anybody who witnessed this entire event will have probably been shaken by everything that transpired and as such I feel as though there will be a drive to make more genuine, more personal and generally better content and to always try your best because that is all that you really can do. It's affected me already, I mean case in point, I am currently making this video and by the time you view this video, I will have made this video, and edited this video, and published it to the internet. And I will have gone through the whole video making process of creating something different from my usual vlogs. Which is the entire thing that I set out to do. And as such, because of it all, I have achieved what I wanted to do. And I have other ideas for other things that I'm going to do in the future that will be different and that is just a new beginning really here it is ready to begin a new wave of Les Miserables one videos yes that is how you pronounce it I feel as though this event as a whole will stand as sort of like a monument in YouTube history and it'll act as a beacon for those who are willing to revel in this new generation of content and who learned from the experience. Thank you all for your time and as a reward for watching this entire video here is a cute and funny picture of a puppy like Obaglob look at it Obaglob I probably love you all and as always, I will see you all on the flip side. Puck.